Hi, I'm Simon from yay.com, and in this tutorial, you will be learning how to send a call to a voicemail. To begin, log into your yay.com account and select My VoIP from the main navigation. Next, go to Routing and select Call Routes. To create a new call route, select Add Call Route. Give your call route a nickname, and then select the Send to Voice routing module. You will see it appear here in the active call route. Click in the mailbox field and a drop down menu listing all available mailboxes will be displayed. By default, yay.com creates a default mailbox. If you would like to set up a new mailbox, select Create New Mailbox from the drop down menu. The Create New Mailbox pop up will now appear. The first thing to do is give the mailbox a nickname so we can identify it later. Click in the mailbox nickname field and enter a name. To access the mailbox and check your messages, you can set an extension number to access it. Enter a four digit number that is not currently in use. If you would like to receive an email notification when the message is left in your mailbox, click the notifications field. Enter your email address and select the plus icon to add it. If you need more than one person to receive email notifications when messages are left in the mailbox, you can add them in the same way. To remove email notifications, simply click the cross icon next to the name. The greeting field allows you to set an auto file that will play to the caller before they leave a message. By default it will be set to play the default greeting. To change this, click in the field and a drop down menu will appear with a list of all the audio files on your account. If you have not yet uploaded an audio file to your account, you can do this by selecting audio from the navigation menu. For now we will leave this set to default greeting. The password field allows you to set a 4 digit number that will be required in order to access the message in the mailbox. You do not have to set this, but for security we recommend you do. Play the beep sound after your greeting gives a clear indication to the caller of when they need to start leaving their message. By default it is on, but you can turn it off if you prefer. Transcribe your message will send a transcription of the message left in the mailbox to your email address set in the notifications field. As stated it is currently an experimental feature. Select save changes. You will now see the nickname of the mailbox you just created in the mailbox field. The access code field allows you to set a sequence of key presses that can be pressed to allow the caller to access the mailbox messages. This can be useful if you need to access your mailbox from a phone not connected to VoIP. The default is star star. Click save changes, select the number you want to assign the call route to and click assign now. Now when someone calls this number, they will be put straight through to the mailbox you created. For more tutorials on call routing and other VoIP features, check out yay.com's YouTube channel. To learn more about VoIP services including our 30-day trial, please visit yay.com.